The Defeat of the Ministry by Karl Marx, published January 6th, 1853. Faction has triumphed for the moment, but will be quickly seen resolved into a rope of sand. The Queen's government last night sustained a serious reverse by a hostile vote on the subject of their financial policy, one which almost every section of the House had approved of in one part or other, but which nevertheless a numerical majority has pronounced to be unsatisfactory in the shape in which it had been presented. The greatest financial authorities in and out of Parliament declared that they regarded that budget as bold, wise, honest, and statesmanlike. But a desperate faction of English Whigs and Radicals, reinforced by the Popish Brigade, have nominally pronounced against that budget, and now it remains to be seen what is the course which will be taken by ministers. We have no doubt that the cabinet will at once assemble to determine the steps which it is becoming and expedient for them to take in the very grave position in which affairs are placed. Whether the government will consent to conduct the business of the country, notwithstanding the vote last night, we cannot undertake to say. The last government would of course have clung to office after half a dozen such reverses, but we are certain that their power successors will not continue to hold their reins of power one instant after they shall be of opinion that duty to the queen and to the country dictates their surrender. If the Earl of Derby shall tender his resignation to the queen, and it should be reluctantly accepted by her majesty, it is utterly inconceivable to us how another government is to be formed to conduct the affairs of the country, in the existing position of parties and with the present constitution of the House of Commons, that the Whig Party, the Peel Party, and the Manchester Party, the English Radicals, and the Irish Brigade should combine in one government we regard as simply a political impossibility. And the enormous minority of last night, a compact, well-disciplined minority, not split up into fragments like their heterogeneous opponents, would enable it at any moment to defeat an unprincipled coalition. We are certain that many of the more prominent members of that majority are alarmed already at the inevitable consequences and predict a deadlock. The only remedy being the immediate reinstatement of the present government as a necessity if indeed they shall resolve on resigning.